energy vampires. Energy vampires. <laughs> Check it out. So, part two, guys. Where was I going? Yep. Yeah, so, there's probably about the way I look at it. There's 36 different types of personalities. There's not much we can do to change it. Okay. I was speaking to this one woman. She was talking quite fast. I felt drained as she's talking. I'm trying to listen. She's going so fast that my brain, because I'm, I, I, I'll admit, it, I say, I say how it is. I'm a slow person. Okay. Um, before I get into that, because this is important as well, because I was going to do a separate video on this, is that I believe that with the 36 different types of personalities, that's how you're able to get FBI people profiling people. They can say, right, the person that committed this murder was, he must be quite tall, so he, I'm guessing roughly about 5 foot 11, um, quite a shy individual, doesn't really talk that much, um, has an interest in comics and they can basically profile someone and and generally get it quite close because of those 36 personalities and it is very close because to a certain degree we are all predictable all of us are predictable okay um, especially in regards to uh, child trauma if you traumatize a certain child they're most likely to be a certain way when they get to a certain age if they haven't overcome it like I have someone in my family now if that person hasn't overcome that child trauma by a certain age, they're likely to be a certain way, and it's not going to be their fault. They're not. They're not to blame for that. It's something that's happened that's caused them to be. They could be, for example, like a negative Scorpio or whatever, and they're likely. You can predict how they're going to be at a certain age and what they're likely to do and this and that, and sometimes even where they're going to end up. You know, which is sad. So I don't want to go into that, but. Um, yeah, there's personalities that we can't avoid. Therefore, I'm not too harsh on people. I don't say to the person, you're this way, and my personality is above yours, or this or that. that that's not how I look at it. Um, sometimes it's just a mismatch. With this particular woman, she was a really nice person. Um, but the energy levels, I just felt draining. When I was trying to listen to her talk, I just felt really drained. I was like, I'm listening to her talk. And, and then she's throwing in their complex words as well. Um, you know, I'd like to think I was articulate, I'd like to think I was well spoken, but you know, she was very complex in her words, using words I've never really um, heard before, and it was just it was just a struggle to kind of keep up and, and follow what she was saying. I'm more of a mellow guy, so, um, but it always amazes me when you get someone, you know, you might get two quiet, whether they're two quiet people together, you know, and that hardly talk. Um, but very affectionate or whether they're two people that speak at 100 you know words per second um, whether it's some you know real tall guy with a really short woman um, I'm, I'm always fascinated by by coupling whether it be mismatched coupling or perfect coupling you know I went to bowling alley the other day there was a really attractive handsome guy and he had a model um, looking white girl with him um, yeah, it was interesting. It was, and they generally both look really attractive, you know. Um, and they're going to stand out. They're going to stand out. Um, they'll definitely stand out. Will it be as bad as someone in, you know, two ugly people in a couple? Um, probably will be because if there's two ugly people, no one's going to pay too much attention. Um, but they will the two handsome-looking couple. Um, but I'm always fascinated by coupling. But getting back to um, energy energy levels and how you can be drained I think that sometimes if you're in the wrong partnership because sometimes you know relationships aren't just having sex you know it's not just strictly sexual relationships or intimate relationships um, when you go to work walk work you form relationships um, you, you know family relationships um, you know, you can even have a relationship with your pets or whatever. There's all different kinds of relationships. It doesn't always, people think relationship, it must mean sex. It must mean I'm kissing them and all that. It doesn't. There's many different, any kind of, um, I would say, any kind of um, partnership you have, have with someone on a daily basis or even weekly basis or have had is going to be some kind of relationship, okay? Um, but where the whole energy comes into it is when... Um, one person tends to drain the other person. Okay. 
um, not to mention there's certain characteristics because we've gone into personalities so there's certain characteristics um, to watch out for um, things like uh, sadists what is a sadist there's a lot of people out there like I said many a times with mental health that believe that you need to be locked up in order to suffer from mental health you don't a sadist is generally someone that enjoys seeing people um, sad and for us that believe that you have to be locked up in an institution in order to be um, suffer from mental health when these people walk into rooms we won't even realize it when they're walking into a room and everyone's having a very good time and they walk around and they say some sort of crude joke we won't be we're not equipped because we don't know about mental health we haven't studied anything like that so we just take it as oh you know he's being a bit of an idiot is he being a bit of an idiot or is he a sadist or is she a sadist because women are like that too maybe they're not getting enough attention or this or that so they want to start something to kind of just if i'm not getting it no one's getting it kind of thing you know um sadist 100 percent energy vampires um a narcissist although with narcissists generally if people are agreeing with most things they're saying um if people don't see themselves as a, that high in a room, like, i.e. the alpha male, um, if they're going along with the, the narcissist's uh, um, demands, then generally you, you don't always get a negative narcissist. So you don't generally always get in them draining people's energies. But there will be one point, generally in life, that, like there is, there's going to be someone that challenges them or someone that doesn't want them to be the alpha male or doesn't see them as an alpha male and say what are you talking about and that's when the true colors should shine so a narcissist would be one of them um, obviously there's things like a sociopath, psychopath um, energy vampires, your typical common one would be a bully which has a trait of the previous four things that I mentioned characteristics or mental health whichever way, whichever way you want to use to describe it so bullies are energy vampires um, I don't want to be harsh here, but I have to put it out there. I've come across a lot of women that are energy vampires. And what I mean by that is you might see them in the street. Um, you might be chatting them up. So you say, wow, girl, you look nice, man. She says, do I? You say, yeah, you do. Uh, damn, you look good. Wow. So what's your name? Why should I tell you my name? And you say, you know, you don't need to tell me your name. And they say that. And basically you're chatting them up. Um, but whereas you think you may be getting somewhere this woman this woman may I find that women generally have their eyes on specific guys and then the rest of them are who they kind of steal energy from okay so and I think sometimes when their energy levels are low they will then feed off of the people that are around them okay guys don't really have that option unless they're really attractive looking guys because like i said already a woman will go into facebook and she will weigh 20 stone and there'll still be some guy on there telling her she's attractive still feeding her the energy whereas guys will go on to um to did i say facebook or whatever social networking site and they'll be an eight out of ten and they may get maybe one or two messages a week or something like that as opposed to that woman that weighs 20 stone she's getting at least one message a day easily okay so this woman here her narcissistic supply is quite low energy levels is, is low so what she does is she then maybe goes out there and when guys are chatting up she sits back and she's taking that energy now that positive energy so the guy's saying to her yeah man um uh, so why don't you give me a number she says you gotta try harder than that why am i just gonna give you my number and she's being negative to the guy as well. So not not only is she stealing energy from him, but she's being negative to him as well. Um, so the guy says, oh, okay. Um, well, you know, maybe I can take you out sometime. She says, what, do you earn money? And all of that. And he says, yeah, I earn money. She says, well, how much you earn? And all of that. And maybe he goes into how much he's earning and this and that. Um, maybe, she's take, maybe she does take his number. Maybe she takes his number because he's going to take her out someplace and make money from him. But she has no real intentions of being with this guy. He's just someone that basically um, gives her that positive feelings. You know, he's just someone that fills up. When the energy levels is low, she'll steal this energy from this guy and make herself feel better. And then there's other women out there that will just sit back and listen to a guy and say, you know, come better looks than that. And they'll say, oh, you look really beautiful, you look really nice. Do I? What else? 
and then after the guys um, finished of basically bigging her up and making her feel really special she says to the guy um, well thank you anyway I'm not really interested in you you don't really do it for me but thank you anyway so she basically drained that positive energy from that guy and kind of left him you know left him out there by himself you know um, you know left him to, hung to dry or whatever um, she's draining that energy there's certain women that go to clubs that approach guys like I said before claiming it's their birthdays guys are buying them drinks and things like that again um, it's energy that's being thrown at them positive energy and then somewhere in the night I mean, I've seen it as well um, the guy really thinks he's in there and this and that and all of a sudden that woman will go on the dance floor and then hug or touch some other guy and say yeah how you doing man and this or that and she'll just move to the other guy she just steals the energy from that person and then she moves on to the next victim you know those guys may even end up fighting each other at the end of the night because he's saying man I bought her a drink and this and that and so they can be quite manipulative um, but energy vampires, 100% energy vampires. Um, but I don't know. I don't want to strictly dog women because that's that. That wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be a fair assessment. But I would definitely say most of the narcissists and the sadists and all those kind of people I met have mainly been men. Okay. Um, things like stalking. Stalking people is something that drains someone. If you've got someone continuously stalking, that can be draining. Okay. Men are more likely to stalk than women. Because obviously women, if a woman's stalking you and then you can't defend yourself as a man, although these things do happen, I'm not putting anyone down, um, that man needs to step up. He needs to step up to the plate a little more and grow a, little, grow a pair because I'm not allowing a woman to stalk me. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I suppose I have family always around me, so I can't, I, I, I can't afford to allow that woman to impact my family as well. Um, but men generally do. So, you know, before I'm dogging women here, men stalking is something that drains women of energy um whether it be constant phone calls whether it be turning up at someone's house um text messages things like that going on social network networking and even negative messages those people are energy vampires as well you know again almost like sadists um whatever kind of energy vampires are there um again energy vampires really can happen when there's a mismatch in energy so it could be someone living in your same household it could be you growing up and it could be your sister or your brother in the same house it could be you um, working alongside someone at work and you know um, sometimes they don't even mean to be they don't even need to be um, mean to you like I've discussed um, before um, previously is that sometimes it's just the fact that their energy levels are totally different than you maybe this person likes to talk about things that makes you feel sick and disgusted you know and you don't want to hear it and that's kind of draining your energy um what other things are they right so we've gone into this and that workplace relationships school you might be growing up you might be going to school and maybe someone in the classroom you don't entirely get along with and they're kind of um you find that they're draining you know maybe you're being bullied because that's obviously that's another that's another form of draining someone's energies by bullying them so maybe it could be a bully at school that's draining you um, now this is the last thing I want to say though is that because I said this I said something um, in my video um, 2018 final chapters of 2018 or the closing of 2018 I got a video when I said that basically if you're in a relationship with someone there's no such thing as a bad relationship and I want to clarify that before we end this video I just want to say to people that you know maybe it was a bit insensitive when I said there's no such thing as a bad relationship but let me let me clarify properly is that there's some people in a relationship where maybe they're being stalked maybe they're being abused maybe they're being threatened uh, maybe they have children with this person maybe you know um, they've got a mortgage with the person maybe they're renting rent needs to be paid so they can't just suddenly get out they're in a you know They've, they've signed some sort of contract or this or that those people it's very hard for them to get out of a relationship and I was being a bit kind of you know insensitive it's very hard because they're trapped with a person like that um, maybe they've invested you know time money whatever you want to call it effort you know they can't just get out of that relationship you know they've got bills and everything that else needs to be paid children need to be fed and things like that uh, mortgages need to be paid but there are other people um, 
and I've been in, and I've, sp I've said this to one girl as well. She was really upset about it. Um, that can just walk away from a relationship. There's nothing that ties you there. Okay. Yeah, but I love him. I love him. I know you love him. I know you love him. But you're saying he keeps cheating on you, or he keeps hitting you, and this and that, and he hasn't held you down. He hasn't physically held you down or tied you down. You could have easily got out of that relationship. So there's no reason why you can't just walk away. Yeah, but it's not as easy as said than done. You don't know what it's like and this and that. Um, I've been in relationships or a relationship where someone has tried to cut themselves when I've tried to kind of break up with them. Um, you know, I've been stalked. I've been, you know, in the ver various kind of relationships. And I'm telling you that, you know, if you're genuinely in a relationship with someone and the two of you aren't, you know, you aren't, it's not working out, I'm go I personally am going to find it a lot hard to, to, to understand why you're still in that relationship as opposed to people that, um, you know, like I said before, you've got children with the person, you've got a mortgage with the person, um, their situation is a lot different than yours. For you, you're sitting around complaining, yet all you need to do really is just walk out of the relationship. Sure, you are going to be hurt. I remember when I broke up with um, someone I really, my first love, it took about eight months for me to get over it. I was, I was, I couldn't sleep for eight months. You are going to be hurt, but you will eventually get over it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what I meant when I said there's no such thing as a bad relationship. You can just walk away. And to be honest with you, I stand by it. You know, no, it isn't as easy to walk away when you really love the person and this and that. But you've got to apply logic to it and say, look, if the person's truly hurting me, if the person doesn't have my interests at, best interests at heart, um, then this isn't love. You've got to slap yourself around the face, around the face, slap yourself around the face and say, listen, this is not love, okay? Real people that love each other don't do this. You know, but that's it. Anyway, I hope you've gathered something from the whole mismatch relationships, um, energy vampires. So maybe if you are around the energy vampires, I mean, just do a test. Um, if you've got someone that you believe is an energy vampire, I don't know if I said this pre previously in this same video, but just do a test and basically get them in the room, get the other participants in the room to stay positive for, say, 20 minutes and just see whether that person um, is going to purposely... Um, try to disrupt the room because everyone is too positive and everyone's enjoying themselves you'll know whether the person is an energy vampire or not because they'll try to disrupt it by saying something negative or this or that um, and, and ride up a bit and if and if you, these things sound like a situation that you're in um, go online because these days we have the internet whereas women say 20 years ago did have resources and things like that go online and check these things out for yourself what is a narcissist? What is a sadist? What is a sociopath? What is a psychopath? Um, and then there's many other things as well. So just, just check these things out for yourself, okay? Because um, we all deserve to be happy. We all deserve to be happy. Both men and female, okay? We all deserve to be happy. You only got one life to live. And the years fly by. And before you know it, you want to do something about it when you're in your 50s. No, why don't you do something about it when you're in your 30s, okay? Um... And if you've got people trying to help you and trying to reach out to you, trying to reach out to you for help, you know, again, know what love is and, and accept the help, you know, accept it. Sometimes we are our own worst enemy, you know, because we, we're ignorant. Anyway, peace out. Um, I love you all. You, you may not see me on here for a while now. I think I've done quite a few videos. Um, take care. Peace.